Hi, my name is Leanne Merzik. I am the Fuels Management Specialist for Oregon and Washington BLM. Prescribed Fire is just another tool in resource management that we use to uh, reach our resource management objectives, such as uh, ecosystem restoration, um, forest health, restoring fire back on the landscape as it was historically. And also, prescribed fire is used to um, reduce the fuels that we thinned in the understory to help uh, reduce the impacts from wildland fire. There are certain objectives. In some cases, if you're within the wildland urban interface, the main objective may just be hazardous fuels reduction. The idea behind that is when a wildfire goes through a wild urban interface area um, in the summer, it helps protect that community. Another uh, objective of prescribed burning is ecosystem restoration type work. Uh, like on the east side of the Cascades, for example, there's a lot of work going on for habitat restoration for sage grouse. Um, that's a really a big piece of prescribed burning. It's, a, it's a, an effort on all fronts. It's not just the BLM reducing fuels. They're working with their communities to protect them um, as a whole. Just recently, the BLM has put up a website for Oregon and Washington that uh, is accessible by the public and they can go and look and see if a burn is happening in their uh, neighborhood. And there's a great site to go to, it's called Firewise, and uh, it's a wonderful site for homeowners to get information on how to protect their homes. When you see smoke in the spring or winter or fall months, it's usually we're, we're, we're conducting a prescribed fire. Um, be reassured that there are professionals who are conducting these prescribed burns who go through many years of training prior to becoming a burn boss and implementing these prescribed fires. And a lot of work and effort goes into ensuring that the prescribed burns are conducted in a safe manner.